வணக்கம் இன்னைக்கு ஒரு முக்கியமான நாள் இங்கே நம்ம ஐஐடி சென்னையில் இருக்கோம் ஆல்டர் என்ற உலக புகழ்பெற்ற ஒரு கம்பெனி அவங்களும் ஐஐடி சென்னையும் ஒரு நல்ல விஷயத்துக்காக ஒன்று கூடியிருக்காங்க நம்ம சங்கர் ராம்லேருந்து ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் மிஸ்டர் சங்கர் ராம் வந்து ஐஐடி சென்னை இன்ஜினியரிங் டிசைன் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்டில் இருக்கக்கூடியவர் அவர் பேராசிரியர் அவர் அவர்கிட்ட இருந்து ஆரம்பிக்கலாம் வணக்கம் என் பேர் சங்கர் ராம் ஸோ நான் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் இன்ஜினியரிங் டிசைனில் ஒரு பேராசிரியராக இருக்கேன் ஸோ இன்றைக்கி பார்த்தீங்கன்னா எங்கள் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்டில் ஆல்டேரோட சப்போர்ட்டோட ஒரு இ மொபிலிட்டி சிமுலேஷன் லேப் வந்து எஸ்டாப்ளிஷ் பண்ணியிருக்கோம் இப்போ நம்ம ஆட்டோமோட்டிவ் செக்டரில் இன்டர்னல் கம்பர்ஷன் இன்ஜின் வெஹிக்கல் அதாவது இந்த பெட்ரோல் அண்ட் டீசல் வாகனத்துலேருந்து எலக்ட்ரிக் வாகனத்துக்கு ஒரு மாறுதல் நடந்துட்டுருக்கு அப்படி நடக்கும்போது இந்த எலக்ட்ரிக் வெஹிக்கல்ஸ் இருக்கிற டெக்னாலஜி அண்ட் அதோட டிசைன் ப்ராசஸ் அதெல்லாம் கற்றுக்கணும் அதை ப்ரொவைட் பண்ணுறதுக்காக தான் நாங்கள் நிறைய ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ் வந்து லான்ச் பண்ணுறோம் பண்ணிகிட்ருக்கோம் மாணவர்கள் ஒரு பக்கம் ஆனால் இப்போ ஆட்டோமோட்டிவ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியில் இருக்கிற ஏற்கனவே ப்ரொஃபஷனல் ஒர்க்கிங் ப்ரொஃபஷனல்ஸ் இருக்காங்க இருக்கிறவங்களுக்கும் வந்து அந்த அப்ஸ்கில்லிங்னு தேவைப்படுது ரைட் அவங்க ஏற்கனவே வந்து வெஹிக்கிள் இன்ஜினியரிங்கில் எக்ஸ்பர்ட்ஸாக இருக்காங்க பட் இப்போ இந்த எலக்ட்ரிக் வெஹிக்கிள் அண்ட் இ மொபிலிட்டி டொமைன் வரும்போது என்ன புதுசாக கற்றுக்கணும் அதுக்கும் ஐஐடி சென்னையில் வந்து நிறைய முயற்சிகள் எடுத்துகிட்ருக்கோம் இந்த முயற்சியில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா எங்களுக்கு இண்டஸ்ட்ரி டென் நிறைய சப்போர்ட் வருது ஆல்டேர் இஸ் ஒன் ஆஃப் ஒரு சப்போர்ட் பண்ணுறாங்க இந்த லேப் ஸ்பான்சர் பண்ணி அப்புறம் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியிலேருந்து நிறைய பேர் வந்து எங்கள் டிபார்ட்மெண்ட்டில் கெஸ்ட் ஃபெக்கல்ட்டியாக அர்ஜென்ட் ஃபெக்கல்ட்டியாக நாங்கள் இன்வைட் பண்ணி எங்களோட இருக்கிற பேராசிரியர்களோட நாங்கள் வந்து இந்த கோர்ஸஸ்லாம் டிசைன் பண்ணி நடத்திட்ருக்கோம் மாணவர்களுக்கு ஒரு பக்கம் ஒர்க்கிங் ப்ரொஃபஷனல்ஸ் ஒரு பக்கம் இப்போ அந்த ப்ரோக்ராம்ஸ்லாம் நடத்தும்போது இந்த பாடங்கள்லாம் நடத்தும்போது எல்லாருக்குமே வந்து ஒரு லேப் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ் வேணும் ஒரு ஹேண்ட்ஸ் ஆன் எக்ஸ்பீரியன்ஸ்னு சொல்லுவோம் அது வந்து ஹார்ட்வேர் லேபாக இருக்கலாம் சாஃப்ட்வேர் லேபாக இருக்கலாம் இப்போ நீங்கள் ஆட்டோமோட்டிவ் இண்டஸ்ட்ரியில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா சாஃப்ட்வேர் டூல்ஸ் வந்து நிறைய யூஸ் பண்ணுறோம் ஸோ அதில் பார்த்தீங்கன்னா நாங்கள் இங்கே வந்து எங்கள் கோர்ஸஸில் நடத்துகிற தியரி பார்ட் சயின்ஸ் அண்ட் இன்ஜினியரிங் பார்ட்டை ஒரு சிமுலேஷன் லேப் வச்சு நடத்தினோன்னா எங்கள் மாணவர்களோட அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் இன்னும் நல்லா இருக்கும்னு வந்து நாங்கள் டிசைட் பண்ணுவோம் இப்போ ஆல்டேர் ப்ரொவைட் பண்ணுற சிமுலேஷன் டூல்ஸ் வச்சு நாங்கள் அதை கற்றுக் கொடுப்போம் ஸோ இந்த சிமுலேஷன் டூல்ஸ் வந்து வெல் காம்ப்ளிமெண்ட் ஆட் ஆன் ஆகும் ஸோ அதில் வந்து நாங்கள் மிஸ்டர் விஸ்வநாத் ராவ் அண்ட் ஆல்டேருக்கு ரொம்ப நன்றிகளை தெரிவிச்சுக்கிறோம் என்னோட பேர் விஸ்வநாத் ராவ் நான் ஆல்டேர் கம்பெனி மேனேஜிங் டேரக்டர் சார் ஐம் ஃப்ரம் பெங்களூர் பட் இன் பெங்களூர் ஆஸ் யூனோ பீப்புள் ஸ்பீக் தமிழ் ஸோ so i know a little bit of tamil i can speak tamil but uh, i would be comfortable speaking in english so the purpose of this collaboration is as professor you know shankar ram and professor balaji mentioned alter is a leading technology company we provide simulation software tools artificial intelligence software tools and high performance computing technologies all of which are the integral and building blocks for doing uh, physical product development or virtual product development not physical product development virtual product virtual product development so what do we mean virtual product development we want to develop a product virtually on the tube as uh, professor balaji and professor shankar ram mentioned historically products were developed in the test labs you know you had to prototype you had to make the prototype then go to the test lab test it out and then keep doing more prototypes to improve the performance of the product till it reached the desired level of performance which is very expensive and time consuming so what we are trying to do is we are trying to do all of this virtually on the tube on the computer by building simulation models for example if you want to do a, a crash test of a car crash test is a regulatory requirement imposed by ai you know a car going at so and see so and speed hitting against a certain barrier uh, the level of intrusion into the cabin should be limited to a certain extent that is the rule defined by ai as a safety requirement now if you have to do this in a physical world you may have to build hundreds of prototypes after every prototype you make a change again crash the car see the level of intrusion keep on making this change till you reach your desired uh, results but all of this can be very very easily addressed in simulation so you build a virtual prototype of the same vehicle and put it in the simulation model and compute it and immediately you are able to understand what is the extent of performance and with that first we call it the baseline simulation with that you can run what we call as design of experiments when we say design of experiments the design is able to automatically modify itself in the software to reach the desired level of performance you can say i want to limit my intrusion to so much can you make changes to the various structural parts within the car so that you are reaching the desired level of performance so that's what the software does and this software can be applied for various types of applications uh, structural simulation which involves things like durability noise and vibration safety on the electrical side for designing the most efficient motors for making sure there is no interference of 
electrical signals we call them EMI EMC which is again a compliance requirements for designing a very very efficient battery thermal management system because if you don't properly manage the thermal efficiencies of your batteries it can lead to what we call as thermal runaways which is the cause for Safety. explosion of batteries and cells which is a very very important safety requirement right so once you have your battery cells we can create a battery pack in the most efficient may, way so that you have proper thermal management and cooling and you can also design a cooling system it could be air cooled liquid cooled various types of cooling systems and all of this can be simulated to ensure that the battery is absolutely safe you know because in india we operate under very very harsh environmental conditions uh, you go to uh, you know places like Rajasthan where you are probably you know uh, operating at 50 degrees centigrade you know and batteries have very very high tendency to catch fire so in order to make sure that they are properly managed we can design and simulate proper efficient cooling systems around our batteries. The rate penetration test also. Yes, you can you can you can do the penetration test, you can do impact test. I mean battery thermal runaway can happen due to multiple reasons. One prominent reason is of course the environmental conditions. The sec the second reason could be because of an impact or a crash. For example, if your battery impacts against uh, say a stone or a pothole or a you know curb or anything, it could be uh, there could be a possibility of a short circuit and that could lead to fire and explosion. So all of that can be simulated. So what we do is we try and simulate a very, very efficient and a rugged battery enclosure which protects your cells against these kind of impacts and uh, accidents so that it does not catch fire. Sir, how close is the result? The simulation of the work the result go? real world result how close they are sir typically the industry standard is anywhere between 75% to 95% if you are in that bracket then you are considered to be good and of course you have to fine tune your models to get to that level of accuracy once you get to that level of accuracy so the typically the way it is done is you do one test and then you do a series of simulations you try and correlate your test results with your simulation results once the correlation is established then all iterations can be done on simulation so that's typically the process that is followed. Correlation is a one-time effort. Once you establish a correlation, then all your design fine-tuning can happen just with simulation. So if you ask me what is the industry standard, could be anywhere between 75% to 95%. That's the acceptable standard. No, it is. I cannot call it all philanthropy, sir. Some amount of money is coming from CSR, which we can say is a, you know, I wouldn't say philanthropy. It is more of enabling the, you know, education ecosystem to bridge the gap with what is required today in the industry right the industry requires a certain set certain kind of people who are trained in these kind of technologies they're finding it difficult to recruit people because the the demand curve is very very steep right now for people who are skilled in electric mobility so there is a, a dearth of people in in uh, available for the industry to hire and then there are institutions like iit madras which can bridge that gap so we are collaborating along with them to bridge the gap of course, we want our customers to use our software tools as well. So if they have to use our software tools, we have to make people available who are skilled and trained on these tools. So that is also one of the motives. So I wouldn't say it is completely philanthropy. It is a combination of business and philanthropy. So, what are you Sir, we software uh, value approximately software, hardware, uh, uh, $1 million, approximately about 8.3 crores, roughly approximately at a high level. Uh, that would be the approximate value of the software and the other computational infrastructure uh, and some amount of cash component that we are contributing towards this. <coughs> the software pays as well. Uh, the software is called as Hyperworks. Hyperworks is a platform for uh, simulation. simulation. It's called Altair Hyperworks is the name of the platform. That is our simulation platform. Our AI platform is called Altair Rapid Miner. And our uh, high performance computing platform is called Alter PBS Works. So these are the three platforms that we have made available to IT channel. Sir, if we provide one technology, this is a generic technology. This is not specific to one particular industry. This uh, is various industries like use pandranga. Uh, for example, if you have automobile already, you have examples of this. If you look at the aerospace industry, for example, manufacturers like Airbus, Boeing, GE, Rolls-Royce, all of them extensively use our software tools, but there the application is slightly different, right? For example, in the aerospace engine manufacturing industry, I can give example, bird hit is a major problem. When the aircraft is about to take off, a bird can actually hit your aircraft. It can either go into your engine or your you know, body, your fuselage, it can hit you anywhere and it can damage the aircraft. So there, uh, you know, we address the same simulation technology is used to address a different problem, 
right? So every industry has its own requirements. If you see aircrafts are very, very weight sensitive. Anything that flies is very weight sensitive, right? Because if it is heavy, it cannot fly and it cannot fly for longer and it makes it heavy, then it's a problem. It cannot fly actually. It's a practical problem that the aerospace industry has. So one problem that we have been solving for the aerospace industry is light weighting. How do I create a structure which has the minimum amount of weight but still is able to provide you the required level of performance in terms of crash, durability, noise and vibration, it could be any of these parameters. So the application in every industry is different. If you look at say mobile phone industry, we are very, very really actively involved with all the mobile phone manufacturers for designing their PCBs, right? Thermal management of the, of the mobile phones, which is very important for the performance. How do I define an electronic circuit, which is the most efficient in terms of say power integrity, signal integrity. So there are various applications. If you say, uh, for example, these air conditioners, which are there in this room, can I model this room and do a computational fluid dynamic simulation to ensure that there is optimal cooling within this room, right? So the applications are very diverse. It cuts across all kinds of industries. And uh, as I mentioned, any product that you physically touch uh, in your day to day life from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep would have some or the other element of alter technology involved in engineering them. You know, it could be the mattress on which you sleep. It could be the shoe that you use on a day to day basis. For example, Nike is a customer of Altair and they use our technology for simulating what some of their, it? yeah, for, for understanding what could be, what kind of material to use, what provides the best level of comfort you know and all of those things the tool the same hyperworks alter hyperworks same technology is, is used right so for example the faucets and the closets that you use in your in your house uh, there is liquid flowing through it right so some of those liquid simulations the flow simulations are done with our our software tools right you use colgate toothpaste okay yeah, so colgate palmolive uses our software to understand how the the paste exactly comes out from the nozzle of the of the tube so that simulation is done. So any any product that you touch from the time you wake up in the morning to the time you go to sleep would have some or the other element of alter technology involved. We are 25 years old in India, sir. We started in 1997. We just completed our 25th year last year. Uh, we are close to about 1000 employees in India. Uh, we have presence in five cities. Uh, Chennai, we have close to 120 employees, sir. Uh, we have an office here in Gindi. Uh, we recently expanded our office. We opened a new office just a month ago. Uh, this is in Tamarai Tech Park. Uh, we have about 15,000 square feet office. We have roughly about 120 employees in Chennai. One of the one of our products called SimLab is completely developed out of the Chennai office. Completely, complete product development, program management, everything is done out of our Chennai office. And this product is used by our customers all over the world. And we take pride in saying the product is completely built out of our office in Chennai here. So, and then we have offices in Pune, Hyderabad and Delhi, totaling up to about 1000 employees in India. We have about 1000 customers, uh, over 1000 customers in India. We work with a lot of startups. We have a very, very, as Professor Balaji mentioned, we have something called as an Alter Startup Challenge, uh, where we actually bring in budding startups and we mentor them for a period of six months. We provide them free software, mentorship through external people like Professor Balaji is also one of the mentors in our startup program. He's mentored many of the startups. So we bring in the startups, take them through six months of mentorship, provide them access to software uh, and coaching for a period of almost nine months. We help them bring out a uh, commercially viable product into the market. So this is an activity that we have been doing for the last five years. We have mentored close to 50 startups. Every year we change the theme of the startup. Like for example, in 2023, our theme was in defense technologies and drones. Our focus was on defense technologies and drones. 2022, our focus was on uh, electric yeah. mobility. Electric mobility. Now, the new startup challenge that we are launching in 2024 is going to be purely focused on what we call as digital twins. Digital twin is, is a new technology that every industry wants to use. So what we mean by digital twin is essentially creating a replica of our physical asset which is not only uh, you know uh, static but it kind of keeps updating automatically depending upon how your physical asset is operating on the field so that is the theme for our next startup challenge